Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know. I'm super excited, I've just recorded a video with all the number sequences that you left in the comments section of yesterday's video. And that video was amazing, it left me speechless and I was so blessed to be able to share that with you. So many amazing things coming in right now for this amazing journey, that this is a journey of protection that the angels have got us. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to use two decks of cards and I'm going to use some softer cards because we need to be softer about this journey right now. I'm going to use the Guardian Angel Tarot. And I'm going to use the Crystal Angels cards to see what's going on. But first I wanted to share with you the amazing sign that's just come through in the number video. We're all seeing 57 right now. Obviously we see the main numbers like 10, 10 and 7, 17. And if you watch the video that I've just done, it will explain those in detail. But when we're seeing 57, the angels just grab this card out of the deck. This is from the Starseed Oracle deck, I believe. Yeah, that one. And this says big picture thinking. So if you've seen the number 57, it's because you've seen the bigger picture or you're reminded of the bigger picture, the visionary of the future, the vision of the future, inspired ideas, Pallades energy. So it's about realizing that the door is opening. The amazing door is opening. I love this even more because on my other channel that I've just created, Pixie Power Tarot, I did a pick a pile reading the other day that you can go and watch. And, you know, one of the piles was about a doorway that you're moving through. So powerful. And if you want to check that reading out, if you go to the featured channels list on here, you'll find my other channel. So nip over and it may make sense for you. But this is showing you great things coming into the journey. And last night, I'm always showing things and things I'm watching. And I was watching Supernatural. Big fan, okay? I'm actually on season 14. And, you know, um, Castiel was talking. And he was talking again, giving a bit of wisdom to, I think it was Jack or to Dean. And he said, patience and persistence, they are skills too. And I wrote that down. Patience and persistence, they are skills too. And I thought, wow, you know, think about how you are as a divine feminine. You're persistent and you do learn patience. It's your big skill that you learn. So remember, these are skills too. It's not just about, you know, your inner skills like your compassion, your understanding. It's not just about being spiritually able to, you know, see things and feel things. It's also about not giving up, not giving up on your twin, not giving up on yourself, who you are, your journey and getting to where you need to be. It's about having patience and understanding and trusting in yourself, even when you get knocked down. And, you know, sometimes we bang ourselves up, you know, we hurt ourselves along the way. We have to trust that we are learning, growing, evolving and finding ourselves every step of the way. How amazing is that? So I'm going to start with the guardian angel then. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know for the divine feminine today? What do we need to know? There we go. For the divine masculine. Thank you. And what do we need to know for this journey? Wow, look at that. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm taking them out of the coming. What do we need to know for the feminines? Wow, thank you. These cards are on fire today. Amazing. What do we need to know for the masculines today? Thank you. And what do we need to know for the journey? Wow, did you see them jump out there? Thank you. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe, join our beautiful family because we're here for you every day, sharing messages every day, coming together every day. So beautiful. So let's have a look then. So the journey then, what do we need to know? Wow, we've got the guardian of action. Guardian of action. I love this. And remember, Archangel Michael is the guardian of action because he's watching over things right now and he's making sure that action is taken at the right time. So he's guarding this right now. It's time for you to step up and be the leader. 
Now, that's a sign for both masculine and feminine to step up and be the leader. The masculines are stepping up right now. They're cleaning up the act for the feminines. They're facing things. They're working things out. And feminines, you're taking control. You're forgiving, letting go, leading the way, becoming a leader. So both of you right now are stepping up and becoming a leader. Your natural leadership skills are being called into action. So right now, it's a great time to act on your leadership skills because you're helping the world. Being that light, shining that light, being positive, not being in fear energy over coronavirus, standing tall, knowing who you are. This is your moment in the sun. So move into the light and shine for all to see. How powerful is that? And that's what you're being guided to do right now as a divine feminine, to shine your light because your light will lead the world and it will lead your masculine home. This card is also about a person who has charisma, inspiring, who enjoys the challenge and loves the spotlight. So it's about remembering that, you know, you're in the spotlight right now because your masculine is looking to you for answers, looking to you on the 5D realm, tuning in with your energy, being guided towards you by the way that you're behaving, because your behaviour creates your world, so if you're in fear, worry and doubt, it'll bring fear energy in, but if you're feeling great, optimistic, enjoying things, enjoying this time to get your mojo back, seeing things positively, your masculine is just going to warm towards you and great things are flowing in. So it's showing you this. It's inspiration. Enjoying a challenge. So you're enjoying the challenge. I know I am. I'm seeing it as an adventure because otherwise, what would we do? We'd be in fear and panic and worry. See it as a challenge. We've also got citrine coming through unnecessary worries so on this journey there may be unnecessary worries around right now especially around the masculines because they're overcoming their worry but feminine if you're in unnecessary worry release it now release the burden of worries by giving them to god for healing and solutions so remember the angels right now are taking away any burdens for healing and solutions archangel Raphael bringing in healing Archangel Michael bringing in solutions. So we have to trust and keep the faith. And this beautiful citrine colour is showing me the golden colour of God. It's like Jesus. It's the power of heaven. So it's showing you we're, we're protected. We are loved. And we've got aquamarine, divine life purpose. So remember, on this journey as a twin flame, whether you're masculine or feminine, you've got a divine life purpose. And you're on this mission now, together, together and apart trust the signs in your inner guidance which are leading you to fulfillment so you're receiving signs right now synchronicities numbers which obviously is the big one right now and it's showing you the universe is taking care of you and speaking to you every step of the way so the journey is really calling you to action right now to become a leader and archangel michael is watching over you making sure that you fulfill this task so powerful the masculines then wow eight of abundance and look at this i love this on the board we've got number sequences so if you watch the number video it really help you i feel today everything in divine timing so for the masculines, this is a time of learning and ironing your skills. So the masculines right now are learning new things. They're learning new skills. Now remember, in supernatural, patience and persistence, they are skills too. So you have to remember, the masculines are also learning skills too. Like opening the heart chakra, realizing the truth, waking up. These are skills too. So the masculines are waking up right now. You may feel inspired to go back to school. Now, the masculines may be being inspired right now to learn new things, to learn new skills, to learn things about their journey. And where he says go back to school, it's because they're in the school of life and they're learning these lessons. This is a good time to change jobs or make a career move. The key to success is in the details. Monitor your projects carefully. 
So this is a sign that there's great change and transformation around your twin. It's showing you they may be not at work right now. They may have be, become unemployed. They may have lost the job. Whatever's going on in changes in work or finances to move them forward to you, to help them make that blessed change, you know, so they can work on their purpose, move towards their goals, their dreams, their desires. So remember, whatever they're going through right now, they're learning. And if there's fear around, if they're blocking you, ghosting you, ignoring you, or even if they're reaching out, just be supportive. Don't take things personally and have patience and persistence while they do what they need to do and learn what they need to learn. We've got angelite or angelite, spiritual or religious community. Join with like-minded people for friendship and increase spiritual growth. So I feel the masculines are going to be turning to the internet. They're going to be turning to online help, you know, communities. Maybe this is through Facebook or Instagram, or it could be that they find a place to go where they connect with like-minded people. I also feel they're going to be seeking answers online. You know, they may even be guided to channels like this. They're going to seek answers because they want to know why they feel this way for you, what their journey is about. They're becoming more spiritual. So they're finding answers right now. And we've got opal. Let yourself sparkle and shine. You were guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. So the crown chakra and the heart chakra of the masculines are opening up right now, helping divine guidance to go in and allowing love in. So they're opening up now to their purpose, to who they are, to their their bigger picture, because they are starting to have big picture thinking. So I feel they are also seeing the number 57 and it's showing them the way. So the masculine's opening up to the love of the divine feminine. Feminines then, we've got nine of action for you. You've worked hard to create the things you cherish in your life, such as beloved relationships, amazing accomplishments, and hearth and home. Rest assured that all these treasures and you are being constantly protected by your angels. In return, Mother Earth, the animals, and the environment need your protection. So what this is saying, this is massive. This is saying to you, everything you've built up until now will be protected. Whether that's your connection with your twin, money, your job, your home. If you're worrying about things right now because of what's going on globally, the angels are asking you to keep the faith, to trust the process, to understand that they are watching over you, protecting you and cherishing you right now. And that all will be well, that this divine connection is supported. It, it is protected in divine light. It will be okay. And the angels are asking for you in to return to respect Mother Nature, to still go outdoors and breathe in that air, to trust in that, you know, that the angels in heaven are cleansing the air for you, that, you know, they're making things happen in the world for you, that changes are happening to move you forward. So trust and keep the faith. Successful completion. This is a time of incredible accomplishment. You're justified in feeling joy, a sense of completion and pride in the amazing job you've done. So the angel is saying to you, enjoy you right now. Okay, you've done a good job. You know, everything you've done to this point, it's got you where you are. You're becoming the greatest version of who you are. So trust in that energy and that power. You've been blessed with many spiritual insights. Soon you'll begin a new journey. But for now, take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true. And the new journey is union. So the angels are saying, bask in this joy. Bask in your freedom. Enjoy what you're doing now because your dreams are coming true. We've got moonstone heightened intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it's trustworthy. So this is showing you that right now you're tuning into your intuition. Your knowledge is increasing. You're becoming heightened in your awareness. And Moonstone will help you. So your third eye is opening up. You know, they're really showing that there. And someone asked me how. How do you open up your third eye? You ask the angels to cleanse it. The angels say visualize in meditation your third eye opening, having it cleansed. 
you know you can imagine that you're washing it away you know you're cleansing it right now and you see and when you tune in with your third eye you can see an eye there that's resting and opening so your eye is opening to the truth following spiritual awareness we've got a metrine balanced masculine and feminine energies i love this and this makes sense as well. You know, if you're seeing the number 69 right now, it's a real sign that you're balancing the feminine and masculine energies. And that just came through again in the number sequence video. Allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence. So this is also saying that the masculines right now are gaining confidence and the feminines are gaining creativity being inspired so again you're coming into alignment change is happening and this is showing as well i feel in this card amethyst and they show me we've got amethyst here and it says revealing your true self as you allow others to know the real you you feel loved for who you truly are so you're standing in your power right now feminines being you shining your light you know, working on your skills, your gifts, your insights, your God-given tools. So the angel is saying to you that you're embracing you more than ever. And it's bringing in power because you're balancing the masculine and feminine energies. You're going towards what you want. And we've got lapis lazuli, which is brilliant for the throat chakra and opening up the doorways of communication. Life-changing epiphany or experience going on. And look at what we've got there before I even read the message. We've got the sword of truth. So Archangel Michael is giving you and your twin right now the sword of truth so that communication can come back in. It's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. So you have to realise that all of these amazing changes that are going on in the world and you have to see it that way. I know it's painful, there's horrible things going on in the world, but it's happening to bring in amazing change for you, for your connection. You have to trust in this, there's a bigger picture, you have to have the big picture thinking. So the angels want you to know there's a blessed change on the horizon within your situation with your twin feminine and masculine aligning right now gaining confidence wisdom and insight power coming in strength and ultimately it's leading you where you need to go it's leading you towards the light it's leading you toward change to be the guardian of action and you know i was just looking around for the cards there so you may have to look around a little bit to find what you're seeking but what you're seeking is seeking you and to end i'm going to do a message from your divine masculine so what does your masculine want you to know right now today on this day I've got a few messages coming out wow so the first thing we've got is wow you are my everything so your masculine saying to you today you are my everything don't doubt that know that you are my everything moment to moment step by step i go towards my dream my dream is to be with you so your masculine is saying to you you are my everything and my dream is to be with you we never meet we never lose each other we never find each other we are in each other all along so remember separation is illusion your masculine is saying to you today you are my everything and my dream is to be with you Keep the faith sending you so much love. Watch the number sequences video and I'll see you soon. Mwah.